they start asking those questions of why are we out here doing this and you know these old folks in the wheelchairs why do we why do why are we doing this instead of not going to the park today this is my first time doing the veterans olympics and i'm pretty excited to be here it's my fifth year i guess my wife's keeping track of my years you know <laughs> i have personally been helping out for i think about 10 11 years now uh, I've been involved in the Idaho Veterans Olympics for 24 years of the 27 years that we've been doing it. This year we had a little over 200 uh, volunteers that came up from, from Mountain Home and we had almost 300 veterans competing in the different areas. I was hooked from the time I came here. Uh, I've been stationed elsewhere and still came back on this day. It's the vets that we're here for, not so much the games and, and the event. That they the fact that they're out here and, and walking around and stuff is, is big and they just they just have a great time with it. By the end of the day, there are a lot of them that are sitting and listening at the, at the picnic tables at the Heroes Barbecue that we're doing. Uh, so they can just hear what they have to say and, and just talk to them a little bit and enjoy the company, I guess. You know, they're just like they were 18 or 19 again. The girls are girls no matter where you find them. <laughs> And uh, every year I seem to get more out of it than they ever do, so. It's, a, it's about learning about where they came from and where this country started and where it kind of evolved, you know, why they're able to do the things they can at, at, at their age, you know. And they're listening to the stories and they're understanding a little bit more that, wow, people are paving the way for me and as I get older, maybe I'm gonna wanna be a soldier or an airman as well. And that's what I get out of this, just so that, people understand that they're important right to the very end.